This next hack is for people who like to carve pumpkins but are extremely lazy. Oh, well, this is probably for me then. That's perfect for you. Yep, first cut out two triangles for eyes, then cut out a uh, half a circle for its mouth. Next, instead of having to clean out all those pumpkin guts, which obviously are gross, just let the pumpkin guts hang outside the pumpkin so that you can act like you're all artisty and stuff, but in reality, you're just too lazy to, you know, take them out there. There you go. Life hack. If you guys are Freddy Krueger fans, like me, definitely not just saying that for this video, definitely know who he is. You'll enjoy this next life hack. To make your limited edition Freddy Krueger cosplay, just get a glove, go into the kitchen, and take all the butter knives and duct tape them. Wait, what's the difference between him and Wolverine? Freddy Krueger has like knives as his fingers. Is he that, like, that he's got like the really weird uh, like, that's face. Gross. Yeah. Put a picture of a My Little Pony. That's who Freddy Krueger is. There you go. Yep. We're monetized still. Now I know this hack is supposed to be for a Halloween costume, but I mean, look how useful all those butter knives would be for spreading cheese, butter, or even jelly for people. Everyone will love hanging out with you because of it. So this next costume idea is actually the coolest thing I've ever seen. Like, how did they go from duct taping knives to your hands to cutting open glow sticks and putting them inside a horror mask? I really want to do this. You can buy it for 20 bucks on Amazon. So you take melted glow sticks and then- No, you just break the glow sticks, cut them off, and yeah. pour them into a jar, mix it all around, and then take pump out it. the blood and then pump it through the mask. Yeah, so that's going in the mask. Yeah. Oh, and so then it's coming out the bottom and then and you're then pumping it back? Pump it right back in. Whoa, that's really cool. That's what I said. I said this one is actually like a really cool. I would love to have this dude. Whoa. That's so cool. That's actually a really cool idea. Wait, wait, wait. Keep letting it play. Wait, what? We told them not useful life hacks, not <laughs> awesome life hacks. I can't roast this. That's really cool. Do you want your pumpkin to be super special and get its own eight part books and movie series? But you don't have an evil wizard around to touch its forehead? We'll just grab a clothes iron, heat it up till it gets red hot, and then just stab it right in between its eyes. That's actually pretty cool, using the clothesline as like a... A brand, yeah. Pull it away and boom. Harry Potter. That's cheating. Now he's Harry Pumpkin. That was pretty good. There you go. Yeah. Uh, there Harry is. Pumpkin. Harry Pumpkin. Everyone comment what you would do to Harry Pumpkin. Do you need a really cool costume, but you know, spend all your money on V-Bucks and battle passes? Well, this hack will show you how to make a high quality costume for next to nothing. Just steal your mom's broom, grab some duct tape, you know, some cardboard, duct tape the cardboard, and then boom, fly away. To go along with your homemade witch broom, you also have to have a witch hack. Just run into the street and steal a traffic cone. I'm sure they won't need it. And then you just spray paint it black. And you have a high quality witch hat. Everyone at the party will love being around the guy who smells like paint all night. When I was a kid, there was a kid named Jonathan who used to always steal my candy. Grr. Screw you, Jonathan, grr. So I used this hack to help keep my candy secret. First, you carve out the top of the pumpkin, scoop out all those pumpkin guts, dump your candy inside, and then put the lid back on it. You may have to carry around a 10 pound pumpkin, but Jonathan will never know anything about your secret candy. Don't you hate when you're playing a card game and you're about to lose? Well, this life hack shows you how to win with your personally made black magic card. That sounds hard. It's easy, black magic, super easy. Just whip out a can of spray paint and cover the face of the card with it and then you can tell your opponent that the card does whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. you can just spray paint it and you say, I won, this is the winning card. Is black magic? Yeah, black magic. You destroy all the monsters on the field, boom. Gotcha. This is why we have a male demographic. Well, if we're being honest, dude, buying candy for Halloween sucks, it's super expensive, like it could cost like $10. So, the only logical thing to do is to glue it to the bowl so it looks like you're giving away candy, but you don't actually have to. Sometimes I can't be home for Halloween, but I have to leave candy out so kids don't toilet paper my house. Unfortunately, there's this other jerk kid called Billy who just takes all the candy. It's the worst. I know, screw Billy. There's some Billy out there watching this and is like crying like, oh, that's, that's what Billy's talking about. So to keep all your candy safe, just super glue it to the bowl and now you'll never run out of candy because Billy, Billy ain't taking all that. Homemade pumpkin spice, oh. Do you hear that? That does sound like a white girl. Give me my pumpkin spice right No pumpkin spice, it's just overrated coffee. 
I'm sure you've heard about people being crazy about pumpkin spice lattes and coffee and all other kinds of stuff, but I bet you've never seen where pumpkin spice actually comes from. First they get some very sanitary 20 grit sandpaper from Lowe's and just grind down on a pumpkin to get it sweet, sweet spice. And then you can put that all over anything. You can even put it on your friend and just, you know. You can put it on your friend's abs and lick it off his abs. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like, yeah. we should do that. You yeah. should do a visit. Oh, okay. We'll be back. I like to call this next one the all-American candy bucket. Oh, dude, that is actually super true. We Americans have to eat way more than your average human, but carrying around a trash bag for candy would look tacky. So just cut a hole in the bottom of a normal Halloween bucket and duct tape a trash bag to it, and you've got a candy bucket perfect for an American Halloween. It's scientifically proven. It's in our DNA. We just have to eat more. Yeah, it's DNA. We're hardwired. I want a Twinkie! My DNA! It's craving one! Has someone stolen your jack-o'-lanterns every Halloween for the last decade? Probably Billy again! Well, just like last episode with the cookie jar, very secure. Top of the line. As you can see, this new method works very well with this pumpkin. It's, uh, it's called the Triforce Multi-Blade Pumpkin. Now, it might look like he just randomly put those knives in it, but he didn't. They're strategically placed, but you can never get a firm grip on it. You go to touch that pumpkin, say bye-bye to Fing Fing. Guys, this is America. This is no, don't have that meme pop up. We did that last time. Just kidding, have it pop up now. This is America. And because it's America, if I have the right to bear arms, why can't my pumpkin bear arms? Ever thought about that? Sometimes it's hard deciding which candy you want to eat. So the most logical thing to do is take all your candy in one bowl, microwave them all together, and plop it onto a plate to enjoy. Before we go any further, I just want to say this looks like puke. There's a lot of wasting going on during Halloween. A lot of people when they carve their pumpkins throw away the best part, the seeds. Not a lot of people know, but you can take the pumpkin guts, put them between two pieces of bread, and then fry it in a skillet with some butter. And you have a pumpkin guts grilled cheese. Make sure you sprinkle on your pumpkin spice from earlier for extra sauce. Throughout the course of this life hack, you'll actually experience evolution in real time. They started off by using toothpicks and trying to cram the Kit Kats together with toothpicks. By the way, I don't know why they're so obsessed with keeping them together, but for whatever reason, he wants his toothpicks together. Which, by the way, I'm sure putting toothpicks in your food, super safe. Who doesn't love, you know, a good toothpick to the it tastes pizza great. Room? Yeah. So then obviously that didn't work, and they tried the next logical approach as their brains are developing and their IQ is increasing. They tried to hot glue Kit Kats together. Yeah, it wouldn't be a life hack without hot glue, of course. Yeah, but, uh, you know, hot stuff on chocolate. Equals melty melt. Melty melt, no no sticky stick. Melty so melt. what's the other thing to keep something together? Duct tape. You gotta use duct tape in a life hack. Now he takes some duct tape and he duct tapes them together. So I don't know why he wanted them all together, but now they're together. There you go, man. <laughs> you got them together and they're not coming apart. Don't I'm, know what you accomplished, but- I'm sure your did. mom's really happy. When I eat candy, I always accidentally bite the wrapper. Honestly, why do they even put a wrapper there in the first place? So annoying. To get around this dilemma, all you need to do is grab the candy and just dip it in some chocolate sauce or, you know, cover it in chocolate sauce. Then the wrapper's edible, right? Yeah, that's how that works. Cool. Is your hot dog not unhealthy enough? I mean, this is America. This is America. You want to make sure you're getting, you know, your extra pound a day of weight gain. So what you're going to do is you're going to slice up some candy corns. Honestly, though, like, my favorite part of the candy corn is the bottom part. This is what they should do, just get rid of the top part. Candy. It all tastes like wax. What, you want to ruin our fun? What, you want to tell them Santa's not real too? Santa's not real and candy corn tastes like butthole. And you microwave them on high for two and a half minutes. No, that was 94 minutes. Was it? Yeah. Did it say 94? Yep. Oh, okay. 94 minutes. Not 95, not 93. 94 minutes. By the way, if you actually take this seriously and do this, it's not my fault. That's just an actual selection at its finest. All right, so you got your cups. You're gonna take a little spoon and grab it. You're gonna drizzle it all over your hot dog. Boom, calories, triple, lifespan, not tripled. All right, if you're still watching this far, we've got a little, we've got a little game for you, all right? So I want you to take your hand, preferably your left hand, and do either a rock, a paper, or a scissors with that hand, all right? Have it. I choose rock, which means if you chose scissors, you lost. If you chose paper, you won. All right? We're going to do that. We're, all right, starting now, we're going to do best two out of three, okay? So get your, get your thing in your hand. I choose paper. I know you lost. 
Don't lie. I'm up. I'm up one up. All right. Get your hand ready. Next one. I choose scissors. Oh, really? You chose rock? Wow. Okay, it's tied. Hmm. All right, you ready? All right, for this next one, I choose rock. I know you chose scissors. Game end. Subscribe right now. Like the video. Leave a comment of your favorite uh, life hack. Goodbye.